Perfect Pet Problem, written by Pip Jones, illustrated by Amy Zing. With a proud puff, Flora blew out her candles. Maybe her wish was finally about to come true. Uncle Midge tapped a sparkly gem on his bangle and a golden shimmering note appeared. It's your birthday, oh hooray! And you can pick a pet today. A magi creature, big or small. Just choose anything at all. Wow, Flora gasped. There are so many amazing animals to choose from, Flora squealed. I think I'd like a mammal that's very big and also very fluffy. Uncle Midge tapped a gem and twisted a dial. There was a pop, a ping, and then a flash of purple light. Ta-da, said Uncle Midge, presenting your new Rabifant. The Rabifant was spectacular. It was very big and very fluffy. It was also very bouncy. Oh no! Flora caught Dad's crystal vase just in time. I think we'd better put the Rabifant back in the bangle, Uncle Midge shouted. Pop, ping, flash. Let's try again, Flora exclaimed. I'd love my own lion, but look at these amazing birds. Carnivores, big cats, feathers, Uncle Midge muttered. An Eagle Lion. Flora went to stroke the magnificent Eagle Lion, but it flapped its wings, flew through the window, and landed on the fence. Roar! Squaw! Stop that racket! yelled Mr. Hush. Flora gasped as Mr. Hush's guinea pig squeaked and hid. They think they're going to be gobbled up! Flora cried. Put it back in the bangle! Quick! Perhaps we need a herbivore creature, Uncle Midge suggested. Not an amphibian. These frogs and newts eat bugs. How about a... Pop, ping, flash, rhinoceros? It's incredible, Flora exclaimed. But the rhinoceros was so tall that it nearly knocked off the chimney pot with its horn. Uncle Midge sighed. There must be something we haven't tried. Ape plus reptile? Pop, ping, flash! The gorilla gator was extraordinary. It swung and waddled down the garden and took a huge bite of Dad's favourite rose bush. But then, Mr Hush's fish! Flora cried. Uh-oh, said Uncle Midge. I think we've created a very hungry omnivore that wants to eat everything. So the gorilla gator had to go back in the bangle too. What now? Flora groaned. Pop! A zebra iguana? I like its stripes, but its scales aren't very cuddly. Ping! An octocrocopus? Too cuddly! Too cuddly! Flash! A tortoise sloth? It will take days to get it in from the garden. Oh, Uncle Midge, what pet should I have? Do you know, said Uncle Midge, I might have just the thing. A fluffle chops. It wasn't too big, too bouncy or too loud. It didn't want to eat the guinea pigs or the garden or the fish. It was just cuddly enough and it loved Flora. Flora's fluffle chops was perfect. Thank you.